Hey, what's going on guys? I know it has been way too long since I uploaded a video. I've had some personal stuff to take care of since the beginning of this year and I couldn't give my full effort for YouTube so I decided to take a step back and halt on making any informative videos. But now good thing is that things have been looking up, going well and I'm ready to give you guys a quality videos again. So on to today's topic, dextrose. I'm sure most of you already know or are already taking protein shakes after you had a good workout. But have you considered how adding simple sugars, and in today's case, dextrose, for your post-workout shake may benefit you even further? Let's get into what is dextrose and why you may need it and some precautions regarding dextrose for post-workout. Well, what is dextrose? To simply summarize, it's a simple sugar and is identical in chemical structure to glucose, which is the most fundamental form of sugar, serving as an energy source, especially during workouts. And some of you may say, wait a minute, I thought it was carbohydrates that provide energy source for us. And yes, you are correct. When you consume carbs, your digestive system breaks them down into individual glucose molecules so that they can be transported to cells for energy energy production. And while complex carbs like rice, potatoes, oatmeal, and etc. are great for sustaining energy throughout the day, simple fast digesting carbs like simple sugar just may aid you better after an intense workout. So why should you consider adding dextrose after a workout? Well, it's pretty simple. Every time you train, your body uses stored glycogen as fuel and as your workout goes on, at some point you will drain your glycogen reserves. And because of this, as a refueling process, ingesting dextrose, which is pretty much glucose, will help you replenish the energy level faster. And, and on top of this, because your glycogen levels in muscles are used up or due to depletion after a workout, your body becomes more sensitive to effects of insulin. A popular term used in the bodybuilding community is the term insulin spike, due to insulin's role as an anabolic hormone to transport nutrients throughout your body. In other words, you just went through a workout, your muscles need fuel to repair and grow, and are eager to soak up glucose and amino acids. And insulin will help your body to do exactly that. Now, technically speaking, you don't have to go solely with dextrose for post-workout per se, and you can easily get almost the same benefits from any types of sugar, like fruits. Uh, popular post-workout fruits would be like bananas, apples, and even I've seen some pros drinking chocolate milk just for the sugar in it and protein from the milk. And some companies also do manufacture post-workout specific products. Now, those would be great too. But the good thing about dextrose is that it's natural, affordable, relatively safe, and is in its purest form. You can get them in candy forms to chew or even powder forms so you can mix it along with your protein powders. Any form will do and they are easy and cheap to get. Now, some of you may be wondering, well, what if you're on a diet or even keto diet? Uh, can you still take dextrose or simple sugars after workout? I'll get to that in just a minute, but first, how much dextrose should you take after a workout? Um, what is the optimal amount? Well, the answer to that can be quite relative based on your fitness goals, current physical conditions, insulin sensitivity level, like whether you are diabetic or not, and a whole lot of variables and factors. So as a general rule, uh, if you are planning on taking dextrose to refuel your muscles to effectively aid in hypertrophy, meaning gaining in muscle mass, I'll say a good starting point is one gram of dextrose for one kilogram of your current weight as a post-workout shake along with your protein. And if you are an advanced lifter, if you already have some muscle mass on you, then I'd recommend 1.5 to 2 grams of however much protein you're going to take. So for instance, if you're taking 25 grams of protein for post-workout shake, then anywhere between 37.5 to 50 grams of dextrose. Now, what if you are on a diet to lose body fat, specifically trying to maintain a caloric deficit. Truth of the matter is that while insulin or getting insulin spike may protect your body from catabolism, but this also directly opposes your fat oxidation process. So in this case, if 
you are going to take dextrose for post-workout. Keep it at a fairly low or to a minimal amount, about 10 to 20 grams. And if you really want to be strict on your caloric intake, make sure to take away the grams of dextrose you've taken after a workout from carbs from your other meals. And if you are on a ketogenic diet, meaning low carbs and high fat diet, then I actually would not recommend taking dextrose as it will quickly nullify your state of ketosis. And if I were to really get into it, there are some opportune moments where you can implement dextrose if you're doing a targeted keto or cyclical keto. Uh, known as TKD and CKD respectfully, where there are moments you can take dextrose strategically to refeed your body with carbs. But ultimately, the whole goal of ketogenic diet is to keep your insulin level low and dextrose will antagonize that. So I'll generally stay away from it if you're doing keto. So there you have it. Those are some main ideas of taking dextrose for post-workout, but as always, there are some few precautions that you need to consider. Obviously, if you are diabetic, sensitive to insulin level, or have any other medical conditions that your physician may advise you against simple carbs, then don't take them. I mean, it's always safe to be safe. And I just want to say, uh, give it a try. I mean, taking dextrose for post-workout or even protein powders for that matter is mandatory. It's not some magic formula or ingredient. So for average lifters like myself and probably many of our viewers, just give it a try. And as for me, I'm taking 10 grams of dextrose post-workout on my normal days and about 20 grams of dextrose for leg days or on high carb days. Just make sure to be able to track your progress. Uh, check weekly how you feel after working out, whether you're less tired after you started taking dextrose, whether you're gaining muscle and losing fat or gaining muscles and fat or just gaining fat, given obviously that your other meals, nutrition and training intensity have to be on point but just check and see how your body reacts to it. Adjust the amount if necessary, and I hope you guys make all the gains. Well, that's it for today, guys. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any other videos. And let me know any questions, thoughts, and comments you may have. I'd love to hear from you guys, and I'll see you guys next time.